Good morning, everybody. It's John here, your small town door dasher. We're starting out here on this Chick fil A 775. I will accept that order. I hope you guys are having a wonderful 4th of July so far. I do want to say happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day to everybody that lives in America. Holidays are usually really good as far as DoorDash orders go for me. But it's been kind of slow this morning. I mean, this is my fourth order since 7 o'clock. So it's been pretty slow this morning. But I want to let you guys know if you want me to talk about anything, if you have questions, you can email me. SmalltownDoorDasher at gmail.com. My videos help you out in any way. Click like, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, tell your other DoorDashers about it, and we'll try our best to help you guys out, help everybody out and get started. When I got started, I didn't really have a whole lot of help. There was a couple of I watched that helped me some, but I figured most of it out on my own. At this moment, I am at 3,684 lifetime deliveries. So I've got a little bit of experience now. I've experienced it all, rude customers, rude restaurants, long wait times, wrong addresses, you name it, I've done it. I had a wrong address the other day, as a matter of fact. A lady. I had dropped the order off, took a picture and everything, and then she sent me a message that said, wrong house. I said, this is the address that was on the app, and this is DPS brought me, and she said, well, that's the wrong house, so I messaged support, and support said, you know, you dropped it off where you were supposed to, and the customer acknowledged that she didn't change her address in the app, so you're fine, you don't have to worry about it, I didn't get a contract violation or anything, and they didn't even bother to make me re-deliver it. doing a delivery to them the next day for, I believe it was a Walmart order, but, I mean, when you deliver where you're supposed to, when you're supposed to, I mean, if they've not, if they message you before you get there and tell you that that's the wrong address, then that's one thing, but if not, then there's not much you can do after you drop it off, because after you drop it off, you're probably already on another order. Well, I'm at Chick-fil-A. I shall be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. I've got the order picked up. Here's a little tidbit for you that I don't know if everybody knows or not, but when an order pops up, it shows you, you know, your mileage and the amount of money, but it don't really, you know, tell you what the address is. But if you'll hit your, one of your little buttons down here to give you your floating widget, open your floating widget and it'll give you the address that's just something i thought you guys might like to know but we're five miles out on this order let's get it delivered i'll turn the camera around get a little bit of view of town maybe small town america somewhere the other day i was reading something that and they were trying to call this uh, not a metrop metro met not a metropolitan, but a micropolitan area. I don't believe that's accurate by any means. This is a teeny tiny little city with a huge county around it. How 
big is the town you live in? What's the population of the city and then the county that you live in? I mean, I know places have, you know, several towns inside their city limits, like, the main town here is Greenfield, I mean, Green County. But there's other little towns like Chucky, Bayleton, Mossheim, things like that. Little bitty townships. I, can, I don't even know if you can call them townships or not. But any of those other townships are part of the county population. The city population here is almost 15,000. And the county population is somewhere between 70 and 75,000. what the population is in the main city where you live and in the county too that way I, I just like to hear where you guys are working what it's like that way you know it helps me give you better advice this right here is our fairgrounds to the right over here that's where they hold our county fair every year which will be happening here in about a month I would personally like to see DoorDash give peak pay on all holidays. It just, I don't know, it just seems like it would be a better way to get more dashers to work on the holidays. Me personally, I don't care. I don't care to get out and work. I don't, holidays don't mean a whole lot to me, not like they used to. But what do you think about that? Peak pay for holidays. That would be an interesting idea. Probably never happened, but you never know. Has anybody had any uh, technical issues with the app lately? I've had a few, a few different issues pop up in the past month, but after three or four times of something happening, they patch it up and. I guess that's about normal, so. Something else I seem to run into a lot of is, let's say somebody lives next door to McDonald's and places a McDonald's order. Instead of the app sending them to the McDonald's next door to get it, they send somebody to the McDonald's on the other end of town. This is happening more and more, and I don't know. I don't, I've never seen the algorithm to know how it works. It is my understanding that the restaurant is supposed to get the order three minutes before we before it's sent out to the dashers. And from what I've ordered at DoorDash, it seems that seems to be about right. Because after it's sent to the restaurant, it takes a while before they start sending it to the dashers. Let me know in the comments what your experience has been about that. Wow, my mobile data just went out on my phone all of a sudden. Ain't that just wonderful right in the middle of an order? Happened to reboot now to see if it'll come back on or not. If it don't, I guess that'll put an end to me working for today. Good. Well, we're booting back up now. I'll let you know as soon as it comes back up. Okay, everybody. I am back. I got here. That order around it being a $12.70 cent order. That was very nice. My, my network did come back up after I rebooted, thankfully. It always scares me when that happens. Because <laughs> no network, that means no work. I live in a very beautiful, it's a very beautiful country out there here. It really is. I've noticed people in this town are starting to figure out a little bit better on how to tip and things like that. I've noticed them. I still get quite a few small orders but it's not as consistent as it has been being 
people are at least trying to put some kind of tip on now. So I guess that is progress. Are you guys still seeing them hold the same amount of you know, $2.50 Postmates did before Uber Eats bought them out. That's an entirely another topic altogether. Well, I guess I've taken up enough of your time today. I hope you guys that over there went my network again. It must be something coming down the road there or something. Okay. Well, I hope you guys have a happy 4th of July. If you shoot fireworks, try not to blow anything up. You know, stuff like that. Happy 4th of July. Stay safe. Make lots of money. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Walmart in-store pickup, 2025 for 13.9 miles. I'll absolutely take that order. That is a damn good order. It is three orders. One item. One item. Three items, it looks like. So that's not a bad order at all. Okay. Since, I, since that popped up as soon as I had ended this video, I'll go ahead and splice this into that one. That's the only kind of video editing I ever do, other than pushing the pause button on my camera while I'm working. I do not edit my videos. There's never going to be a big flashy intro, no loud music, things like that. It's just not, there's no point in it in a DoorDash instructional video. Since it's summertime now, though, I might see what kind of DoorDash challenges I can come up with to do to entertain you guys. I know you guys like, seem, you guys seem to like the, if you wake up with zero, could you survive with DoorDash? You guys seem to enjoy that video, even though it was an hour long. And I do apologize for the length of that video, but, you know, compressing 24 hours into one hour, that's about as small as I could get it. You know, that was talking just a little bit and then just checking in every hour. But we'll see what other kind of neat challenges I can come up with. If you have an idea for a challenge, let me know in the comments and we'll see if it's, we'll talk about it, see if it's doable. Let me know. Send me an email, leave a comment, like, subscribe, everything. I'm going to let you go for real this time. You guys have a happy 4th of July. And remember, just because you're small town doesn't mean you're small time.